Hey everybody, welcome back to Amy Reads. As promised, I am back today and I am still sick, as you can probably hear, but um, I'm doing a little bit better. It's moved from my chest to my head. I don't know if that's better, um, but it, it is what it is. I, I have a sinus infection, clearly, but anyway. Um, my throat doesn't hurt anymore, not really, so that's great. And I'm gonna stop talking about being sick. Okay, so as promised, I am back and we're gonna do a Funko Pop tour. So I'm gonna take you all over there and show you guys everything that I have. I'm not gonna pull everything down. Um, as you can see, I do keep mine in the boxes with the exception, I do have a few. Um, like I do have, you see Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim. I keep her out of the box. She sits right here on my desk um, because she's a badass bitch and I like to check her out. and. Um, she gives me, you know, badass vibes. Um, I also have a Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones that is out of the box at work that I keep at work on my bookshelf. Um, because I have a really cool space and I can actually decorate it. So that's awesome. I'm trying to think if there's any others I keep out of the box. My husband has some that he keeps out of the box. Um, but those are in, he has his own like kind of room where we bought a house and we have more room than we currently need because we don't have children or anything so I have a library and he has his own room where he um plays video games and stores all of his books yes there is another room in my house that is that has like 200 more books probably anyway he keeps some of his Funko Pops in there and he has uh I think he has a couple at work as well he has some Game of Thrones ones I know I got him Brienne of Tarth and Sam um Sam Tarly uh, for our anniversary one year. So he keeps those. He's got some Steven Universe ones. So anyway, um, I should have uh, looked up how many we have and put it here. I'll put it right here. Okay. So that's how many Funko Pops we currently own. Um, I put mine into, it's called Pop Price Guide. It's a website. You just make an account. You put in all the ones that you have and it tells you, it just helps you keep track of what you have. And then it also lets you know like how much they're worth. So that's fun. Um, and then so we have like a grand total of, it's like almost a thousand dollars worth of Funko Pops. So says the website. Um, we don't collect them for resale. We just collect them because we like them. Um, and we don't collect every single, I mean, you know. Um, there are definitely ones up here that I'm missing some from the collection that are kind of higher on my list. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to quit rambling and I'm going to bring you over there. Um, I'm not going to turn the light on in here because I feel like it'll just get glary. So hopefully we'll be able to see everything okay. Okay, so um, we're just going to start over here. Um, on the top corner, I've got all my Scooby-Doo ones. So you've got Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, Daphne, Fred. Yes, I am missing Velma still. Um, my husband got these for me for uh, Christmas this past year, but I am missing Velma. Um, I have Wally and Eve, of course, from Wally. Um, I have Lorelai, Rory, and Suki from Gilmore Girls. I got all three of those this past year for my birthday, so that was awesome. Um, I'm not a big Frozen fan, but I'm trying to collect all the Disney princesses. So I do have Anna. I don't have Elsa yet. Um, I have Rapunzel, of course, from Tangled. Aurora, which, fun fact about Aurora, she is somehow my most expensive one. She's worth like $45, and I paid like $6 for her. It's crazy. I have Alice, of course. We've got Jean from Bob's Burgers. I will eventually collect all the Bob's Burgers, but so far we just have Jean. And then we have Steven from Steven Universe. Um, down here, I've got some of my Beauty and the Beast. I've got Mrs. Potts and Chip, so damn cute. I have Lumiere, I'll go ahead and show you the rest of my Beauty and the Beast. Um, Cogsworth, the original Beast. I have a Hot Topic exclusive of Belle um, with, in her like winter stuff with all the birds in her hand, which is super cute. I've got Peasant Belle. And then I've got this one that they just put out them in all their like fancy gowns because the original Belle, which is all, she's also wearing her yellow dress. She doesn't have her arm up like that, but um, she's hella expensive. She's like $100 or something. I would never pay that. So I wanted a yellow dress Belle. And so I, when they came out with all the like formal wear ones, like I think my Rapunzel is, that's also in her like formal wear or whatever. But anyway, so I got a yellow dress Belle. Okay, so I'll come back up here 
Um, I've got my Little Mermaid ones. I have Flounder, Sebastian. I've got Human Ariel, so she's in her blue dress, which is super cute. And then just regular old Mermaid Ariel. Um, then I've got my Peanuts collection. Sorry, I'm holding the tripod. I know it's a little shaky, guys. I'm sorry. Um, so I've got Snoopy and Woodstock. Now, also, I have a four-pack of Peanuts, but I'll show those to you in a minute. And then probably my favorite Funko that I have. I have Ghost Charlie Brown from the uh, It's a Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown series. So I have all four of these. I have Ghost Charlie Brown. I've got the little Red Baron Snoopy. I have Lucy in her Halloween costume and Charlie in his other Halloween costume. Um, so these were like Walgreens exclusives, I think. Or that's the only place that we were able to find them. And of course on eBay. Last year, because last year was the 50th anniversary of It's Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Um, so Ghost Charlie Brown is probably my favorite one that I have. Look how freaking cute he is. He's holding a rock because he got a rock. I'm obsessed with Charlie Brown. I always have been. I love Peanuts cartoons. Um, yeah, he is my favorite. I've always said I'm going to go as Charlie Brown as a ghost for Halloween one year and just wear a sheet with a bunch of holes in it. It still might happen. That's going to be one of those where like I didn't plan a costume and I just have to run with it. Okay, so now I've got my Guardians of the Galaxy over here. I really just wanted the Guardians from the original run. So I have Star-Lord with the mask on. I have Gamora. I have Rocket. And I have little baby dancing Groot. I do not have standing Groot. Um, and I'm missing Drax. So yeah, that sucks. I'm still missing Drax from the original run. I don't want to get Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 because then it won't, the boxes won't match. And I'm anal retentive about that. So yeah. Okay, down to Star Wars. My guy, BB-8. Just a sweet little babe. Look at him there. I love BB-8. I almost took BB-8 to work with me and took him out of the box. And I might still. I do have a plush BB-8 at work that um, my brother and sister-in-law got me at um, at Universal, I guess? No, Disney? Oh, they got it for me at Disney. Yeah, duh. Um, anyway, it's adorable. We have Kylo Ren. We have Finn. Ray. And Dreamboat. Poe Dameron. Um, so anyway, we just obviously have from the new movie, we don't have any of the old ones because there are 10,000 Star Wars Funko Pops and I'm just not collecting all of them. But I loved the new movie so much. So I got some from that. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Oh, we also have Han Solo in his snow gear, which was a Loot Crate exclusive. So yeah, I forgot about that, which is pretty cool. A lot of people probably have that though, if they got Loot Crate. I've got two from iZombie. I have two different lives. Um, you've got the regular one where she is in her lab gear, so that's cool. And then you've got this um, summer convention exclusive that I got at Hot Topic where she's like in her street clothes. I love iZombie, you guys. I've got to catch up. I'm behind a season, but I love it so much. Um, got Gold Bender from Futurama. I got my husband that for Christmas one year. And then we also have Leela. Um, we will be collecting the rest of Futurama at some point, I'm sure. Okay, and then the rest of these are my Beauty and the Beast that I showed you. So let's go down to Harry Potter. That was a terrible accent. I don't know why I did that. Okay. All right. So I've got Sirius. I've got Luna. Luna's, you guys, I love Luna. She's like my fave. Um, she's a fellow Ravenclaw like me. I really want to get the one where she's wearing the crazy glasses, but it's hella expensive. And I really want to get the one where she's wearing the lion mask, which is not hella expensive. It's at Books A Million right now. They have a ton of them. So I'll probably go Friday when we get paid and pick up the other Luna. Um, I've got Ron. I've got Dumbledore. I've got Hermione. And I have two different Harrys. Um, both of them Hot Topic exclusives, as you can see. I'm trying to not get a glare. Okay, so this one, if you can see in there, it's a bit of a glare. He's got his broom, and I believe he's holding the golden snitch. Yes. And then this one, he has the Sword of Gryffindor. Again, trying not to get a glare, so you can see that sword in there. Um, I don't have the regular Harry, just because I already have two of them. And I know there's like multiple, you know, you've got Hermione and, why are not Hermione and Ron not together? I mean, get it together. I need to move Dumbledore out of there. I mean, Ron and Hermione, look, they look they're so separate from each other. It's so sad. Okay. Um, I don't have all the numerous versions. I really just wanted one of each. Um, but I do have two Harrys because they're so cute. Okay, so now I've got, <laughs> what a natural transition from Harry Potter to Michael Myers. Okay, so I've got, of course, Michael Myers. I've got Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger. 
the Ultimate 3. I do not have um, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Fun note, I am a huge horror movie buff, but I have never seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I know that's crazy. I feel like it might actually really scare me, so I don't know. Um, we've got this super cool Cthulhu. Cthulhu? I have hear this said a lot of different ways. I say Cthulhu. That's probably incorrect. I'll have to dig up H.P. Lovecraft and ask him. Um, but it's like a gold patina, I think is what it's called. Uh, Cthulhu, it, obviously a book million exclusive. Super cool. Okay, guys, these are some of my favorites as well. The Universal Monsters. There's a whole set. Um, I'm missing four of them. So, you know, if anybody out there in the world just, like, really loves me and is like, hey, let me send you some Universal Monster Funkos you don't have, that would be amazing. But I have The Mummy. So cute. Look at him. I have Metaluna Mutant. And Frankenstein and The Bride of Frankenstein. Sorry about the glare. Um, it would be worse. What if I, like, moved my arm? Mm, no, that's not helping at all. Okay. All right. These were the first ones that were gifted to me ever. Um, I'll show. You, I'll tell you which ones were the first ones we ever bought. But my best friend bought me Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein for Christmas one year, um, and it, and it began. But anyway, um, yeah, they're so cute. So I am missing. I've got Frankenstein Bride, um, Metaloon Mutant, the Mummy. I'm missing Wolfman, Dracula, Phantom of the Opera, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. So. And they're each about 20 bucks now. And that's a lot to spend on one of these. But I'm going to have to eventually because I can't have it in complete set. I love Universal Monsters. Okay. So I have the three that they did from the Hannibal television show. I love the Hannibal television show. I, of course, have Hannibal. And he's got his knife, naturally. Going to eat some people. Can we just talk about how I have such a lady boner for Mads Mikkelsen? And this show is very confusing because I'm so attracted to him and yet he eats people. And I'm not turned off by that? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. Anyway, Mads Mikkelsen's a total babe. Um, you've got Will Graham, um, which is awesome because I think this was the end of season one where he is, like, committed. It is. It's definitely the end of season one. Spoiler alert. Um, where he's committed, so he's wearing the mask. It's awesome. And then there's the Wendigo. Um which is just like this thing that they keep seeing. It's just it's a whole explanation. I won't go into it. Watch Hannibal. It's amazing. It's only three seasons. It's Brian Fuller. Why God did it ever get canceled? Anyway. Okay. I have Edward Scissorhands. Look how cute and sad he is. His little scars. Oh God, he's adorable. Okay. I have Columbia and Magenta from Rocky Horror Picture Show. I do not have the rest. Um, they're all pretty cheap except for Frankenfurter, who's like $80. Um... And I really wish I had just picked him up at Books A Million when he was super cheap. But I will get the rest of them at some point. Maybe I'll I'll get Frankenfurter. I don't know. My best friend has it. So I'm always like, if you if he's missing one day, just don't ask any questions. Okay, these were the first ones we ever bought ourselves. And this is of course Emmett Brown and or Doc Brown and Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Um I like Back to the Future. I didn't grow up with Back to the Future, though, because I don't think I saw it until I was an adult. And I've definitely not seen the third one. I think I've seen most of the second one. So I'm not, like, an enormous Back to the Future fan. Like, I like it. It's a great movie. Um, but my husband really, really loved it. So he actually picked these out. These are the first ones that we bought. Um, and then the first ones that I was... I can't remember which actually came first. Those were gifted to me. And then these we actually bought. I don't remember. Either way. It doesn't matter. Okay. And... Nightmare Before Christmas, of course. I've got a regular Jack and a regular Sally and maybe my favorite character in the world, Zero, with a jack-o'-lantern for a nose. I mean, Jesus, look at how freaking cute he is. And then I've got Jack with Vampire Teddy, which as you can see was a New York Comic Con exclusive that I got at Hot Topic. And I've got Nightshade Sally and she's all sad. Perk up, Sally. Um, and then we have Rick and Morty from Rick and Morty. Um... I am not a Rick and Morty... Well, I'm going to say I'm not a fan. I didn't watch it. Um, I'm, I have seen one episode. So, um, I know Morty has two poops in his hands. Yeah, anyway. Um, my husband loves the show, though, and he's currently watching the new season. So, it's one of those shows, like, I'll probably go back and watch it, and I know that I'll like it, but I, I just don't watch it, so I don't know. Um, anyway, okay. So, I have a few that do not fit on my shelves yet. Um, I'm going to take you... You're getting a little bit of a tour of my room 
here's where I used to film. Um, and I don't know if I will go back to there just because the lighting over here is really good. Anyway, okay. So I'll show you, not Funkos, but <laughs> I do have, oh, there's a tag for a, okay. I do have all of the, um, the McDonald's Halloween munchkins <laughs> because I'm a child. And then, um, I have some Halloween Barbies and some little Charlie Brown figures, a little candy corn guy that's from my childhood. And then I have some of the fat Barbies that they came out with because I needed to own curvy Barbies in my life because as a child I couldn't have them. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put another shelf right here in front uh, or on top of this and that's where I will put the rest of my Funkos. But until then, sorry, I'm gonna bring you back around. I'm trying to go slow. All right, so I'm just gonna show you the few that I have. Um, so I've got, like I said, the Peanuts four pack. I got that for a gift. So I didn't feel the need to get the full size ones of all those, obviously. Um, oh, I'm gonna save this one for last because it's my fave. Okay, I have Amy Winehouse <laughs> because I love Amy Winehouse and she's so cute. R.I.P. Amy, I love her. Um, I got Wonder Woman from the new movie because she is so badass. I actually thought about taking her out of the box and bringing her to work too. I just wanna surround myself with badass ladies, you know? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And then one I just bought the other day and it's one of my new favorites, Carrie from of course the movie Carrie. Look at how awesome. Oh my God, she's so cool, I love it. Okay guys, so that is it. I will pan out so that you can see all of them, there they all are, except for of course the ones that I just showed you. Okay, I guess I have a happy birthday banner. Um, it was at my 30th party and I just thought it was fun so I hung it up there. Anyway, there they all are guys. Um, this is a super long video so I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, if you did, give it, a, give it a thumbs up. Yep, there you go. And, uh, and subscribe and like and do all that stuff and I'll be back soon with more book talk.